Let's check it out now. Goddamn. Now, Big Wop, a.k.a. Goo Wop, okay? Uh, Gucci Man has unleashed a response this song to NBA Youngboy, and basically, he not playing no games, okay? Now, he dropped a song called Publicity Stunt last night. If you don't know, Youngboy dropped a song this in the entire industry, but he also said, yo, he used to F with Gucci Man, but he realized Gucci Man F with them other niggas, so he don't F with him no more, okay? Now, with him saying that, Gucci Man had to respond. And Gucci Man responded with a song called Publicity Stunt. Now, Gucci said he trying to pull a publicity stunt. These rappers be pussy. They bleed once a month. Don't speak on my name. Don't get put in a blunt. You could diss all you want. You still won't get a response. Okay, now, he kind of directly addressed him because it wasn't every line wasn't about young boy. But he kind of directly addressed young boy on the first verse. He said, yo, why you diss me for publicity, nigga? Is you in the street so you an industry, nigga? Is you my fan or an enemy, nigga? Now, clearly, you know what I mean? The last two lines are very important because, you know, a lot of people have said, yo, young boy is like an anti-industry dude. Now, yo, you have uh, Gucci Man who's pointing out, you making a diss song about me if you claim you have a problem with me is actually some industry type stuff, okay? And then he says, are you a fan or an enemy, nigga? Which, if you guys don't know, basically, like, yo, uh, 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 one, of, one of the biggest songs by um, Youngboy, Make No Sense, he says, I feel like I'm Gucci Man in 2006. So, basically, he's like, yo, come on, man. At one point, you wanted to be me. Now, you're over here dissing me. What the hell is going on? Okay? Now, he continued because, you know, uh, he said, listen, it came out of his mouth. Now, we can't take it back. Watch what you say. Who you calling a rat? These niggas spread gossip, then call it a fact. Before we give a statement, we'll lay him on the mat. Now, be honest, this could be a young boy, or this could be a, like, Takashi. Because Takashi, like, you know, was trying to throw Gucci's name into certain stuff, you know. But um, we know Gucci, as well, recently just got into a young boy as we're covering now. So, I don't know. I didn't see young boy call Gucci a rat, okay? However, he's defending that point, too. And at the end of the song, he basically says, listen. You want to be me, I know what you want, but you ain't got to pull no publicity stunt. Live by the gun, you die by the gun. Ain't got to cap out the shit that I done. My nigga got bond and he went on a run. Got my roof in the trunk and my trunk in the front. Dropping the ceiling, I'm thinking I'll dump. Killing for a living and murdering for fun. We ain't about to pull no publicity stunt. We ain't about to pull no publicity stunt. Then the outro goes, I thought you felt like Gucci Man in 2006. Well, damn. Now, I got to be honest, okay? Uh, I thought this was a OG proper response by Gucci, okay? But I'm going to be honest with you. Young boys, one of them niggas that, to keep it real, they don't respect nothing but disrespect, okay? I don't think they, they, they really respect the OG way of kind of like checking him or son of him. Look like the way how young boys going about things, he really only appreciate disrespect. So, you know, in prime Gucci form, I thought Gucci was going to come a little bit more with disrespect. But it goes to show, don't even look like Gucci really had nothing against young boy, okay? Listen, I know there's a lot of side picking, quote unquote, going on. And Gucci, you got to imagine, Gucci comes from the same side that's going to be, oh, the Migos, Young Thug. Uh, he's going to be rocking with a future. He's going to be rocking with a lot of Atlanta, little Baby. You get me? And by that, also, you're going to say Lil Durk in him. Okay? I don't think he's picking a side against 4K Trey and NBA family, but I think that's the people he's probably more cool with because he does music with them. They're all in Atlanta. Okay? I think young boy got to start thinking about this in... Yo, are you going to get mad at everybody cool with, like, Lil Baby? I mean, Lil, Lil Dirk? Because you're going to end up saying you're beefing with the whole Atlanta. You know what I mean? Like, Lil Dirk at this point runs around with a bunch of dudes from Atlanta, okay? And that's just what it is. And the, those dudes from Atlanta, they're all kind of mutually cool, and they've been rocking together for a long time, whether it's QC, uh, you got QC, you got Gucci in them, you got all the artists in between. Like, yeah, they're kind of connected on some type of level. So, again... We're going to see what, what happens next, but maybe something happened that we don't know. Just like how the Boosie thing, Boosie came out and told us, like, yo, this dude, this dude kind of fake because he ain't clear a verse. You know what I mean? And then we didn't know there was some verse that was kind of involved. So clearly something else was going on that we don't know. Maybe there's something else going on that we don't know about this whole Gucci man and NBA young boy situation, but we'll find out in due time. What do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about the response? Do you feel you should have went harder and disrespected more? Or you thought this was a good OG 
G Check by Big Wop to NBA Youngboy. Get in the car, my Smith Jazz, like them, subscribe to Words Academics. Oh.